hello hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i am zachariah the ghost guys i have a few tips i want to share with you because i know some of you guys you heard about the place called pilgrims rest in bumalanga it's a tourism attraction place tip number one please watch the video until the end it's only 11 minutes you will thank me later tip number two please do not drive on this road at night because you will be surprised i can say tip number three be careful of your speed because we are climbing the mountain there is winding roads you know sharp curbs and bend you know and there is also livestock on top of that mountain so you don't want to find a cow in the middle of the road while you are driving 120 km per hour you don't want that because of as you see the car which is approaching our direction right there there is nothing on the other side of the car and it goes deep so once you lose your control you are gone it's only 11 minutes video watch this video because i wish somebody told me about this road before i take a trip from johannesburg or from Houting to mbumala Guys, Pilgrim's Rest is one of those God's beautiful creation. I guess this is what they call the panorama view. Pilgrim's Rest, it's more of a tourism attraction place. A lot of history there. They have the museum. When you go to the museum, you're going to learn a lot. They have a garage where they decided to store old cars, cars which has history. You know, when you get there, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to see the old, you know, version of cars. They have houses, the first houses that, you know, people who decided to go and stay to that place, you know, they built those houses many years ago. So they're going to tell you the history of those houses, the first owners, and all those type of things. You're going to learn a lot about, you know, that place. And they also have a place called the Diggings, where when you go there, you will see where they used to dig. I think maybe they used to dig gold there. But you're going to get that history when you get there. The road, it's, it's a tiny road. You need to be very careful when you're driving on it. Like I said, be careful of your speed. And surprisingly, you know, a lot of vehicles which were there on that day, they were having GP registration numbers. They were from Houding. And when you get there, you're going to find, you know, hotels. You're going to find bar where you can go and drink your alcohol and enjoy, you know, your holidays. You're going to find a place where they sell pancakes. And, you know, when we get there, we were like saying we have to eat the pancakes. They were so delicious and we wanted takeaway. They said, no, they don't do takeaways. You only sit there and eat. They have different flavors, of course. They have the sweet pancakes. And the other one, I forgot the name, but it has, it's more of spicy whereby I remember I chose the pancake with the springbok meat. It was amazing. They're saying, if you're proudly South African, you should taste this. Guys, I'm a proudly South African. And I enjoy the beauty of South Africa. I'm documenting, you know, these places so that I can show you guys and I can show our children that there is places out there. As a young man who grew up in a shack in Tembisa, Winnie Mandela section to be more specific, going to school with other kids, who always went to visit their family members who stays or who stayed in, you know, fancy places. I always, you know, wanted to travel. And I was told that, you know, life is too short. And the decisions that I started making, I started rushing things. I made decisions that later when I look back, I'm like, why did I do that? That was a stupid move. But once I started realizing that what if, 
God will give me 40 more years. If I get money and I spend money on things which are not helping me, which are not building me, I go and have quality time, what we call, you know, entertainment, enjoyment in the club and, and do all these type of things. What do I benefit? Because it's only pleasure. Can I get pleasure outside, you know, going to the club, be with a lot of friends and drink alcohol? Yes, I can get pleasure if I travel because I love traveling. I need peace of mind. I need to create content which I call the generational content. I need to create content that can help other people so that next time when they travel to these places, they have a blueprint because they know that somebody has been there before. We hear about these places, but we normally don't go and visit them. So I decided to document the beauty of South Africa, guys. And I was asking myself, what if God gave me 40 more years? As a 35-year-old 30, man, what if God will give me 40 more years? That means I'll be 75. Will I be happy with choices that I made when I'm 35? No. I won't be. So why don't I just start traveling, get more experience while I am busy working on my financial? Why don't I fight you know, that poverty mindset, go out, travel, meet people, be more creative, tell stories, because to storytellers will tell stories regardless. It doesn't matter wherever you want to put me on earth. Look at this beautiful place. It's green everywhere. Most people, when they see these trees, when they see the roads, they see only roads. When I see this, I see creativity. I see art. I see storytelling, I see business, I see educational content. Because someone who doesn't know this place and they heard a lot about this place will decide to take a trip 8 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. And they might lose lives. They might be shocked by what they're going to face on the road. Of course, that was my second day. In Bumalanga, because the first day I went to God's window and I also went to the potholes. It was amazing. I had a great time. I went to the hotel sleep. The following day, I decided to go to Sudwala Cave. Amazing. I've shared some, you know, clips of that, you know, great place on the other channel. I call Zachariah the ghost. I'm saying this because I don't know where, where will I post this video. Will I post it on Zachariah the ghost writer? Or will I post it to Zakaria the Ghost? You know, because I have two channels. Maybe I'll post it to both, you know, channels. And before I forget, you only pay 30 rand for a tour. They have a tour guide. Someone who will be walking with you, somebody who will be showing you the houses. Or somebody who will be telling you the history of, you know, those old cars. Or somebody who will be you know, taking you to the diggings. Only 30 bucks. Guys, you know, sometimes we, we don't get successful simply because of we keep on repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Let me document the beauty of South Africa, guys. Let me share great content. Let's share people outside there, people who are in other countries who want to come to South Africa, see that we, as South Africans, we can create great content. At God's Window, you know, I met a lot of people who speak languages that I don't understand. They came special to see God's Window. And that's great news. I know our tourism industry, they took a knock because of COVID-19. Everybody took a knock. We all suffered, you know. But it's about time, guys, we change things. When I started the channel to share stories, you know, I've been called crazy so many times. 
by friends, family members, people who are not even my friends, but they just see what I'm doing. Does that make you crazy? This is Pilgrim's Rest, guys. Look at it. It's old town. But when they call me crazy, I used to say, no, I'm not crazy. But now I agree I'm crazy. Because I'm creating content that you can't. I'm doing things that you cannot do. When I look back from how I grew up to where I'm going, come on, man. I am crazy. If I think I can be on the world stage and, and make content like this and write films and write novels and, and have you know, books that can be celebrated in Germany, Australia, UK, US, Japan, I am crazy. And I appreciate you guys, your love and support. Sometimes you have to agree with people to make peace.